Hey everybody, it's Erin Reed, and I have some cute little organizational pieces that I want to show you that are from Kit Exchange. Links are down below for all the supplies I've used, and don't forget to subscribe and like this video. While I was at Creativation 2018, I ran into this company. We kept on bumping into each other. I actually did a video walking by her booth, and she showed how to use these fun things. She did a quickie glance through about one of the containers of one of these organizational kits. And then at the end of the show, her name is Alicia, she sent me... Um, she gave me these and then she sent me the inserts because I didn't get them at the show time. And I'm going to show you how fun this stuff is. So there are different types of totes. This is one or containers. This one is, looks like it's an envelope. There's a special name for it. It's called the travel storage envelope. This is in a persimmon and it is in vegan leather, which I think is absolutely fun. Beautiful. It's got some great stitching on it. The facets and the little pieces are great. I mean, it's just, it's so pretty. Oops, I'm going to take the tag off because that's just driving me bonkers. So again, this is called the envelope and it's travel size for a couple reasons. One, you've got now this hook can turn into something you can hang. So this little hook right here, you can actually hang up on a wall. If you've got, you know, wherever you're going, you can have fun with that. So this is a way to kind of take your crafting with you. You also have a strap that you can attach, which is right here. So all you have to do is you attach it on the back. And you could adjust the length of where you want to put this strap because it's got an adjustable piece right here and it turns into almost like a little messenger bag. I think it's fantastic. I mean, look at that. That is so awesome. Okay. The next container option that you have, this one is called, this is the small pocket travel book and this is in Marigold again in the vegan leather. These just as a heads up, these are the three colors and the last color is in blue. <laughs> I thought that'd be a fun name for that. It's blue. All right. So this little mini travel book is the same thing. We've got a zipper pouch on the inside. I'm going to go ahead and take this tag off as well. You still have the same ability of being able to hang. This is just a much smaller profile. So if you're looking at the difference between these two bags, these two travel tote bags, this one's got two zippers in it. And then it's got two stage sections that you can attach all the net fun pieces, which we're going to show you in a minute. This has just got one big zipper pouch and then the adhesive part at the front. The last option is the binder and it's a typical binder. The inside is got the felt, which is what everything sticks to. And then you have the pages. I did not get the inserts for the pages, but you can put just about anything you want in here, which is absolutely fun. But there are special inserts that do go with the binder. All right. The beauty of this system, and we're going to work with the small one first, just so we can kind of see how that's working. It fits better on my screen too. So I'm going to put these other ones off the side. So this small little guy right here, obviously anything that's a tool, I already have it open, silly me. Anything that's a tool, you can fit in here. So if I want to throw my little pliers in here, you know, whatever I want to put in, if I want to put my adhesive, if I want to put, I mean, think back if you want to store your pens in here, you can have a blast with whatever you want to put in there in terms of your crafty stuff. Go for it. So I think what this was in mind for, kind of pulling a few toys out of this out of the way. I think this was specifically in mind for somebody who does a lot of bead craft because this is easy to put your tools here and all your beading stuff here. You can put your wires down here and all kinds of stuff. Within these kits, you then get little pouches. <clears throat> now, I did not get this pouch. But this is one of the examples. This is the, the smallest size pouch you can get. And they have a little Velcro on the back already that sticks to the pouch. Now, I'm shaking the crap out of this thing and it's not coming off, which is fantastic. So now you can come in and you can store and you can put whatever little container with little things you want. Put your beads in here, you can have all kinds of fun. There are five sizes. This one is, let's go from the smallest. The smallest is this little blue guy and each of the tops has a different color I've noticed. Then we have a medium craft pouch. Let's open this guy up. There's 20 of them in here and they already all have a little Velcro. Now this medium sized one, there was 20 little bags in here and there's two little Velcros. So I have a feeling I could probably, yeah, see, look, I can do this. I can stagger them. So I can come in, I can stagger my stuff. And I can fit quite a few if you stagger them. If you just did them individually and you did them one, but you only fit like four or five. The other cool thing is that once you bring your stuff home, you open up a package, whatever that package may be, your stuff is all over the place. This is a great way to kind of keep it organized. And if you use up all that pouch, guess what? 
these pouches are reusable. There's nothing, they're just little Ziploc baggies basically, which is fantastic. But they already have the Velcro on there. And the Velcro, as much as I, it's not pulling free from the baggie, which is fantastic. And it's holding firm. So just to kind of show you again, I mean, this one had something in it. They are sticking on there. Even with this having some weight in there, it is hanging on. And this only had one little piece of Velcro, which is fantastic. Next size up is a medium journal pouch. So let's open this guy up. All right, so it is just that much bigger than the green. So it's a little bit wider and that much longer. So you can fit even more stuff in here. So it gives you more options. This also has the two Velcro pieces on the back. And the cool thing is, is that you can mix and match what objects you're putting in each of these. The next one is the large craft pouch. And so again, you can see the size difference again. It is just that much longer. So it's got another two inches. I hope you guys can see this. It's got about another inch and a half. So it definitely is getting progressively larger. The width is all about the same. The last package we have now, this is the large journal pouch. And these are a nice wide. So we are no longer going longer, we're going wider, which is fantastic. So it is the same length as this pink one with the pink top, but it is about double the size. So that gives you so many more options, lots of fun little pieces that you can stick in here. So I'm gonna organize. All right, so I've had some oddball little things and I just have no good way of organizing them. And they're all kind of beads and jewels and jewelry and just stuff. I got this kit, I'm gonna dump this out. I got this kit a long time ago and it was all stuff to do with bezels and it's got little charms and I've got the necklace pieces that go with it and all of these little um, glass pieces and it, it's a whole kit and it's from Craft Fantastic. It's got, you know, just lots of pieces that go with it. I even have some done pieces in here because I threw them back in a ring, but it's been sitting in a bag and it's, I, you don't see it, you don't use it. So let's organize the thing. I'm going to take the one with the pink top. And I don't remember which one that is now. This is the medium journal pouch. And I'm going to put all of my glass pieces in here. So anything that's a glass piece, pop this guy open. So all my little glass pieces. I mean, you saw how disorganized this is. Let's see how good I can get this thing organized here for a minute. I'm going to take all these little pieces and pop them in. All right, so here's all my glass pieces. They fit wonderfully. I even had a really large piece that was in there. Done. And I'm going to go ahead and call this my little craft for this project. And so then now I can also do is I can take these are the little dots that go with it. I'm going to pop them in here because it goes with it. And then this big piece like this, you guys can't even see what I'm doing. This big piece like this, because it really doesn't have a place to fit in, it's going to go in here as well and everything else is gonna be able to fit into a pouch, so we're good to go. Okay, I'm gonna get another small pouch now, and instead of putting it in this little baggie, which is the chains, I'm gonna convert them over to here. And I'm gonna go ahead and put all the other chain pieces that I have in here too. And here's my second one. Pop that on my little baggie. All right, so now I have a couple other oddballs. Now, this piece is going to be kind of different. So I think I'm going to throw the ring in the zipper section. And same with this. Well, I don't know. You know what? I don't think so. I'm going to get another one of those small pouches right here. And in this small pouch, I'm going to put all the pieces that are not the bezels. So like the dragonfly, the hearts. These are what I call the extra, you know, fancy pieces that you could attach. But I can't put something inside of it. The non-bezels. So there's not that many of them. There we go. That's gonna go in here now. And then the last one, I'm gonna get a bigger pouch here. Get this one of the larger ones. And that's what I'm putting all my bezel pieces in. And I'm gonna pop that down there. Now I also have some leftovers. See now this piece is trash, which is awesome. I can clear things out. I also have a few pieces that I'm done with, but maybe I wanna use this at a later time or I'll have a project. But again, it got kind of cluttered up in the mess. So I'm gonna grab another small pouch from here and I'm gonna put my done pieces in there because they're not obviously done enough for me to do something with them yet, but I might attach them to another project. So I'm just gonna pop these guys in here. I'm gonna flip it around though. So I can tell that these guys are the done ones and pop it right there. And look how much more organized this little project is. 
The ring is the only one that's a little bit of an uh, odd shape. So now I have all the pieces I need to go with this project and I can close this up. I think I zip this up, close this up and I am set to go. So anytime I want to do any kind of this resin stuff, boom, it's ready to go. And I have all the pieces in here and this stuff, even though they're heavy, ta-da, and whenever I need to use them, pop them off. There we go. I mean, look how much more simple. And now I can even take this with me and work on it while I'm out and about. I don't have to worry about it, how it's organized and I can see everything, which is so nice. I love that little concept. And it's in a cute little container. It's so cute. All right, some other fun things that I have is I figured, found out all these cute little embolays. And again, they've been stuffed in this baggie. I've had them for a while. They're so adorable. I mean, look at these little pineapples. I got these a couple years ago, but again, they are stuffed in the middle of nowhere and I have no use for them at this moment. I also have these cute little gems down here. Again, don't have a use for them at this moment. So I'm gonna go ahead and stick all my pineapples. Actually, I'm gonna put my pineapples in this fun bag here. They're gonna go in here. And I do wanna get a little bit of the air out of the bags because if there's too much air, that's gonna make it a little bit bigger. I'm gonna go ahead and put my crosses, beautiful crosses in here. So just think anything that you have that is small, that you want to kind of organize, that you make it easier to see. Let's go ahead and put all these little guys. I have one random bead that was stuck in there, so I didn't even know it was there. Put these guys in here. Now I can see this easier. There we go. I also have this. Now this is more, this is from something else, but just think about this for future stuff. I have these packages here and it's all for jewelry making stuff. Once I open this package though, and I'm going to right now, or I have already, look how loose this is. I was, I'm gonna lose half these pieces. So now I can pop these things in. So think of all your sewing stuff too. I can pop these little pieces into here and I will not lose my items once I open them out of the package. So these are actually like to help fix your jeans. So I got a little more life out of my button broke on my jeans a while ago and I had to buy them. These pieces are for jewelry. These are the um, head pins and eye pins. But again, once I open these packages, look, they're gonna go everywhere. So I'm gonna go ahead and transfer them right now into these baggies so I have them when I need them. And now they're super organized for me, ready to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop in my larger little pieces here that my appliques, because this is kind of my random, I really don't know what to do with it. And then my little hooks and beads, I'm gonna go ahead and pop those. And then these beads right here, it's truly, I don't know what to do with them yet. They're just my miscellaneous. I'm gonna pop those in this particular container. And then in the larger travel one, I'm going to attach my hooks and eyes. I have some little beads here. I've got another set, and you know, my eyelets. And then I also have some of my flexible, what do they call this? Stretch magic stuff. I'm gonna pop this down here. These things were really, truly kind of in random spots. They weren't even together. So it was making it very difficult for me when I needed to do, I do charms, and that's why I tend to do a lot of my little things. So I'm actually gonna pull out a lot of my small charms that I think I might be using when I do these projects, and I'm gonna store them in here. And I can store them up here, or I can store things down here. And then the whole thing folds up, just like that. Ta-da. So, one thing I would suggest though, is that while you're doing this, you don't want to overstuff these because if you make things that are way too dimensional, you're going to have a hard time uh, closing this back up. So this does work a whole lot better if you've got thinner objects versus really super thick. Like I wouldn't do a whole lot thicker than probably this little, um, the magic band stuff that you see here. I could probably even unwind this whole thing if I get to the point where this is getting really low and I could put this in its own baggie, you know, just re, re, coil this back up and stuff it in there. And then obviously you can put your tools in here. So I need to get some better tools. Oh, mine suck. <laughs> I have these tiny little pliers that I use when I do this, of which I'm gonna pull out because I don't use them for anything else. These are my jewelry pliers that I have as of right now. <laughs> Just tiny little pliers. I know there's better stuff out there, but I've not gotten into a whole lot of jewelry making, so I haven't invested the money into it yet, yet. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and store this up. For now, because I'm not going anywhere, I'm going to go ahead and detach my, my strap, but I want to keep it with this unit. So I am just going to go ahead and pop it right back. Oops, this guy was open already. Pop it back into here just for safekeeping. 
I'm just gonna pop it into the corner, just out of the way for now. Because in my uh, room, I'm gonna end up storing this up on the shelf. So what do you do with all these baggies? Now that I have a whole bunch of these, they're just kind of all out all over the place. What am I gonna do with it? Well, I'm gonna take all the ones that are the same size here, and I'm gonna take the, a one extra. So let me get all the ones of the same size. I'm gonna fold them up and I'm gonna pop the extras inside of one of the bags that's the same width. So I'm gonna go into my binder, that's my miscellaneous binder, and I'm gonna attach all my little extras in here and now they're ready to go whenever I need them. I know this is where my extra pouches are gonna be, and then I can close this up. And again, remember, you can also, you can actually put things inside here. This is what you would call a standard binder size, so like an eight and a half by 11. You can put little foldable pouches, and there are some for sale at the site. I just don't personally have one to show you. Really cool set of a trio of storage ideas, three different sizes, depending on to fit your needs, the large travel pouch, the small travel book, or the binder, to store all your little pieces of stuff in a super easy, Easy, super fast way that everything is at your fingertips when you need it. So check down below. All the links are there. Thank you so much, Alicia, for sending me these cool things. I absolutely love them. They are so pretty and they're so smooth. They feel great. They're super durable. I love it. The colors are fantastic. I just need a green one now. I want an emerald. <laughs> <laughs> Emerald is my favorite color. <laughs> but I love the blue. I mean, they're, they're so pretty. I love the color concept together. So many different sizes of inserts that you can get to suit your needs for whatever kind of crafting, bead making, jewelry making, little bits. I mean, who knows? I use all kinds of stuff. Seed beads be perfect for that. I mean, so many options for all the different kinds of crafting that is out there. Check the links down below. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys again later. Bye-bye.